Rise and Fall of General Electric Introduction Founded on April 15, 1892, through the merger of Edison General Electric Company and Thomson Houston Electric Company, made first electric light bulbs and other electrical stuff in the late 1800s, expanded into aviation, healthcare, appliances, and industrial systems in the early to mid-20th century. Strategic Growth and Optimization under CEO Jack Welch, 1981-2001, introduced breakthroughs in medical imaging, renewable energy, and digital solutions, faced challenges and underwent restructuring in the 21st century. Overview of GE's rise to prominence, industries of excellence, electricity, leading in power generation, transmission, and renewable energy solutions. Oaviation, innovating in aircraft engines, aerospace systems, and digital aviation technology. A healthcare, pioneering medical imaging, diagnostics, and healthcare IT solutions. A renewable energy, spearheading wind turbines, solar power, and grid solutions. Products of General Electric Overview of GE's rise to prominence Key success factors Innovation Constantly innovating in technology and products across industries Leadership Strong leadership and management strategies driving growth and efficiency Strategic acquisitions Acquiring complementary businesses for diversification and market expansion Global presence Establishing a strong global presence with operations in over 180 countries. Customer focus. Prioritizing customer needs and delivering high-quality solutions and services. Jack Welch's leadership at G1981-2001. to Strategic focus. Emphasize core competencies and market leadership, tripling market value to $400 billion. Operational excellence. Introduced Six Sigma for quality and efficiency, saving $12 billion. Global expansion. Entered new markets and formed strategic partnerships, increasing international revenue to 40%. Innovation. Prioritized R&D, leading to groundbreaking technologies with annual spending of $5.2 billion. Financial performance. Achieved consistent revenue growth and profitability, with annualized returns averaging 23%. Emphasize core competencies and market leadership, tripling market value to $400 billion. Operational excellence. Introduce Six Sigma for quality and efficiency, saving $12 billion. Jeff Immelt's leadership era, 2001 to 2017. During Jeff Immelt's tenure at GE from 2001 to 2017, the company faced a significant decline marked by several challenges. Stock performance. GE stock price fell by over 30%, resulting in a shareholder value loss of roughly $150 billion. Financial struggles. The company experienced a cash flow drain due to problematic acquisitions, divestitures, and buybacks, leading to a substantial increase in the debt-to-earnings ratio. Operational issues mismanagement in financial strategies, including excessive stock buybacks, $40 billion, and overpriced acquisitions, contributed to financial instability. Governance concerns, structural issues within the board, including a large board size and lack of a finance committee, lowered effective oversight and decision-making. Decline in GE stock price, which fell by over 30% during this period, resulting in a shareholder value loss of roughly $150 billion. Stock Price 1990-2017 Governance and Financial Oversight Challenges GE's board lacked a finance committee until 2018, neglecting crucial financial oversight areas such as acquisitions and retirement plans. This absence contributed to GE's pension deficit, questionable stock buybacks, $40 billion, and overall financial instability. Financial mismanagement, including excessive stock buybacks and problematic acquisitions like Alstom, led to a decline in financial health and increased debt-to-earnings ratio. It is GE's largest ever industrial acquisition. GE reached an agreement with Alstom in 2014 to purchase Alstom's power and grid businesses for 12.35 billion euros.
Governance and Financial Oversight Challenges Overconcentration in GE's 401k plan stock undermined investment diversification and risk management. Of the Audit Committee's failures in overseeing revenue recognition practices and addressing inherited issues highlighted governance and oversight challenges. Impact of GE's decline on shareholders A significant decline in GE's stock value, leading to financial losses for shareholders. A reduction or suspension of dividends impacting income for investors. A decrease in investor confidence due to financial challenges and governance issues. Key lessons learned from G's rise and fall. Strategic focus. Importance of maintaining a clear strategic focus on core businesses and long-term goals. Effective governance. Need for effective governance structures, including board oversight and financial committees. Finance management. Emphasis on finance management, risk management, and responsible capital allocation. Conclusion. General Electric's journey illustrates both success and challenges. From Jack Welch's leadership to issues under Jeff Amelt, the lesson is clear. Strong leadership, robust governance, and a commitment to innovation are vital for sustained success.